Hey guys, uh, so I'm finally doing my orange look and it's very subtle. This is what it looks like and I'm doing these so that, you know, you can wear colors to school or to work and not feel like it's too much and I feel like this is really, really wearable and it's taking me a long time but I think I'm going to finish this series this week so I'm going to try and do a video a week. I mean a day. <laughs> All right, um, so let's see. First, I'm using um, Bronze by Spell Cosmetics. Now, this is going in my crease, and I'm going to be using a brush that looks like this. This is a Laura Mercier brush, and it's like a 224, but you can see that the top goes more to like a taper. And um, for those of you who have seen my What I Think About Haters video, and you like the look that I'm, I got a lot of compliments on the look that I was wearing in that video. I was wearing a color by MAC called Cosmic, and that's discontinued. But if you're looking for a color that's similar, um, this is the color right here in the crease. To, if you're looking for a color that's similar to Cosmic, um, I would recommend this color by Spell. It's it's called Bronze. They've got two bronzes. They've got a San Tropez bronze and just a regular bronze. And I mean, don't get me wrong, both of them are gorgeous. But this, the regular bronze, gives this um, really pretty sheen. And I think that's what most people liked about that that look and that color. So, um, I know a lot of people can still find Cosmic at CCO, at the CCO, kind of where they live. But if you don't have a CCO and you like the... See how pretty? It's this really pretty, almost kind of like liquid metal sheen that it has. Um, so if you're looking for a color like Cosmic by MAC, then I would recommend this as a dupe. Alright, so that's in my crease. And now I'm taking, uh, this is one of the loaded colors. It's called Sublime and it's orange, but don't let that scare you. I mean, um, we're going to do it dry. And I'm going to use a low Cornell that is a kind of like a MAC 239. And um, I'll leave links in the side because these colors, I mean, they're called loaded because they're, they're so vibrant. And you can use them with mixing medium and make them even more vibrant. But if you, if you just take them and, and use them dry... The color is really, really, really buildable. Uh, my friend Tara Lady Lissa did a rainbow look with these colors, and I mean, it's gorgeous. I'll leave a I'll leave a link to that video and also to the, her blog because she has this really amazing picture on her, um, on her blog, of the look. It doesn't even look real. It's ridiculous. And if you're going to wear this out and you wanted it to be a little bit more vibrant, you could use the Wet and Set from Spell or you can, um, you know, fix plus a little bit on your brush and that'll make the color more, you know, um, like pow color. Whereas this is, you know, just a really pretty soft orange that you could wear in the daytime if you weren't comfortable wearing, you know, really, really strong colors all the time. Okay. Now, as my highlight color, I'm going to use Solar White. Um, it comes out just a really soft gold. And I'm taking that right down here and pushing it up. like that. Okay, now as my eyeliner, I'm using, this is a Sue Devitt Eye Intensifier Pencil, and it's in Gold Reef. It looks like that. I'm going to take it, and I'm just going to go a little ways in. That's, that's enough right there. I'm going to put it in my waterline. Okay. 
And I'm also going to take a little bit and drag it on my lower lash line. These are really, really soft and blendable, and then they've got this little um, blender on the back. So just go ahead and blend that out. And smudge the bottom too. And then um, I have lost my eyelash curler. I don't know how you lose something like that. But so um, today I'm using Vincent Longo the Curl Mascara just to kind of give my lashes a little bit of a flip. Um, this mascara doesn't give me, you know, like super curled lashes, but it's better than, you know, having my eyelashes stick out straight. That's not cute. I'm going to layer a little bit of cargo. Texas Lash Mascara over that. I've got a little clump. It's kind of hard doing my mascara in, in the uh, in the monitor. And there's my orange look. I think it's pretty wearable for every day for the office or for school. And um, tomorrow will be yellow. And hopefully tomorrow will be yellow. No, tomorrow will be yellow because I definitely need to get these finished before I leave for vacation. So um, I hope you guys like it. I know it's very subtle. It's very easy to do. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.